All right. I guess I cleared my storage, guys. How is everybody? I hope everybody's well. Let's see what the message is on this lovely Saturday. I was just noticing the leaves are changing colors. I love this time of year uh, until it gets cold. And then I like the first snowfall, and then after that, I'm like over it. But um, I like all the seasons. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Oh, the leaves, they were pretty. They're like reddish, you know? I live in New England, so it's uh, yeah. We get all the seasons here. I mean, I know most places get all. Well, that's not true. All right, what do they need to hear most for their greatest good? I tried to avoid this. I did because I saw it. I saw it in the pre-shuffle, and I ignored it. Usually, I'll tell you when I cut the cards. Yeah, I didn't want to. All right. Someone's got some bad intentions. Okay, this could be a snake in the grass, or they could be dealing with the snake in the grass. Okay, you, you guys, not everybody's, you know, but someone did too much. They did too much. Your twin, listen. Your twin is in your energy. This is what they don't want. So someone's mother is involved in something or or someone had bad intentions towards your mother. This could even go that way. Because um, for some of you, it's, it's bigger, okay? I feel like the people in your circle are also being targeted or were, okay? So you guys need to put this how it fits, not um, dealing with this and you're dealing with this, all right? And this. There's a group. All right, it's a group that works in secret. It could be, it, yeah, you guys know, all right? In the bottom of the deck, we get the star, all right? Star seed, you could be a celebrity in the spotlight or um, a healer. You could be an Aquarius. Okay. You could just be getting a wish build. Uh, but I'm getting more of, on the lines of like um, Starseed um, in the spotlight, a healer, someone who is seen star. The star, okay. And then I was getting this earlier because yesterday I was picking up on um, a seamstress or the day before, whether this is me in a past life or I'm channeling the stars, passed over stars. Because I do, I do, I pick up on Whitney Houston a lot. Like I pick up these energies. Uh, Kurt Cobain has been coming through. Um, and I know this now, like before I would just, now I, I can tell, um, but, um, and when you have that type of, that star energy, it's, it's like your inner, it's your energy. It's, it has nothing to do with the people around. It's just the energy you exude. All right. So that's, that's what I'm getting with the star energy. All right. And I know I was a past, a past life star, like a star in a past life. I don't know which one or what, but I see magazine covers of like um those old western movies and i'm positive i just don't know much more details than knowing that i had a past life doing doing that and i don't know what you know um uh, it's something i'd like to like dig into more like past life regression and stuff like that so but you do you have people um they this you know um you know, they did too much working with a group of other people because of this twin flame. Your, the two twin flame cards came out. So your twin is in your energy and twin flames. So this is about someone who's on the twin flame union dealing with this, this stuff here. All right. So what else? What else? Gratitude. Did you light a candle recently? Something was hidden, okay? Maybe you asked for some clarity on a situation. Yes, divinity, a fire sign, or whatever makes you passionate. We get affluence. This is about your, um, your being like a high regard. Or And I read this the other day, and I know what I just forget already, so I'm going to look at it again. It's like your, your luck changing or, um, let's see. I don't know. Let me let me just read it real quick because it's it's short. It says, um, "Wealth in all forms is available to you now. You are not you are rich on all accounts. 
drawing this card invites you to feel the abundant flow of having all that you need on this on this material and spiritual planes. If you're inquiring about a situation or relationship, this certainly indicates there is much to be experienced here. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You are being provided for and rewarded at this time. Okay. So something so maybe um Maybe you're helping other people see their divinity. I'm also getting that. You could be dealing with the fire sign or have this in your chart or this is something that, that you're passionate about, okay? Someone could want to show you gratitude or vice versa or you're showing the ancestors gratitude because something that was, I feel like something was uncovered to somebody about who you are or who they are or whatever this is, okay? So again, fire sign. So I uh, this is about your divine your divine your your twin flame. Your other part of your soul or however you guys want to look at that. And I know everybody has um not not really, but we're all still searching for the answers, okay? They're coming in. And I was just thinking this also on the way home with like certain things, like things are being uncovered still. So like before it was like the 144,000, there's only 144,000, no, it's a frequency. But I mean, I, I, it could be only 144,000 of us, you know what I mean? But we are still uncovering things because things have been veiled for so long, right? Age of Pisces and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm sure that has to do with it the, and all the the corruption. And now we're in the age of Aquarius and things are being shown to us. It is also the age of the star, right? Aquarius, the star, right? Um, some sacrifice is being exposed here. Patience, okay. Earth angel. Someone's trying to sacrifice an earth angel. Um, and then I just saw the Wheel of Fortune, so they didn't want you to get on, or the World card, they didn't want you to get on your destined path. It said destiny, so I think it's the World card. Or the Wheel of Fortune, I forget. But, um, it's, it's like, um, yeah, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Someone is in the, in their head about, um, celebrating or with a third party situation okay I'm, I'm getting pisces here with this i know it's an air sign but it's giving me um the hangman for some reason with the waiting game it's the two of swords but um there's some sort of celebration here that someone had you blocked or someone's in their head over a third party situation put it how it fits okay you could be celebrating okay it's the light here all right you step you you see the light now all right celebration or it's going different ways uh, and then we got patience and we yeah here's the here's the hangman the pisces card all right pisces leo i got here and sagittarius tell us more we got heartache and loss we got transformation scorpio death rebirth and we got trapped in fear so your, your transformation has someone else trapped in fear here. Someone didn't see you clearly or someone's blocked from communicating with you. Um, okay. All right. This person could be um, suffering at this time or this person had you suffering. But I feel like you saw the light and you went through this transformation here. You could be celebrating. These are all clarifying each other. All right. Now these are clarifying each other. Okay, the, the patience card, the temperance, um, blocked and trapped in fear. So this is like two of swords, not seeing something clearly or someone's blocked. Someone is blocked. And then we got the Pisces card. We got the trapped in fear, okay, over some sort of sacrifice here or letting something go or being forced to look at something differently about whatever this is, is, is difficult for this person or you. Put it how it fits. I'm also seeing three, three here. And nine is at the bottom of the deck. Someone could have gone within. And whatever clarity they're receiving with the Ace of Swords here uh, and wisdom from the divine, I feel like, is, is causing some sort of heart chakra activation. When it comes to this temptation here or being tempted in the past, possibly by a third party, okay? And we got the nine of, um, we got the hermit here and some sort of obstacles so 
whatever this is here, maybe you're seeing something clearly about a third party. Maybe it has to do with this right here. I don't know, the snake in the grass, all right, who had bad intentions towards you. Um, they put some sort of obstacles. I feel like uh, you went within, though, and you connected to the divine, and now something's coming in quickly, the star. Hey, look, that's the eight of, eight of wands. All right, something's coming in quickly. You could have wished on a star. I'm also getting the, the star, um, the Pleiade star. It's a shooting star, but that's what's giving me. This one star just followed me around, and I didn't know what star it was until recently, okay? I don't I'm, I don't know how to say it, Ali Stone or something like that, but we get some sort of victory and success here when it comes to um, somebody's foundation here or the Four of Pentacles, um, rebuilding something, a firm foundation. This is like material stuff, and then we get the Empress. So I feel like, because this kind of came out in reverse, that this mother figure or whatever tried to, someone not, to knock someone off their foundation here. Okay, they could have been successful in this, but I that's just what I'm what I'm seeing here. Something's coming in though. I feel like you've been working on your yeah, you've been working on your stability, your um material stability, like where you live or that's what I get when I think of the four of it's like uh, rebuilding and now having the structure, but it's 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 with money, finances, um you know, stuff like that. So we got yeah, something so you see clearly Whatever this tower moment is here, it caused someone to see clearly. Um, and now they're being asked to choose wisely when it comes to matters of the heart or past life soulmates. Yeah, the lovers. Look, 6-6. Six, six, all right. Here's your, that's your twin flame right there. And here's the emperor. And here's love begins. All right. It's going to be different for everybody. I pull cards and see like who's who out here, but you're all, you all get different. You know, it's given um, the Empress and the Emperor came out. So your spiritual strength. All right. Let's pull some of these cards here. And here's the lovers. All right, and here's great fortune and something to do with some sort of secrets here, okay? And about this sudden wealth and people are concerned because they stole or this thief is concerned or someone's concerned about this thief. All right, here's this main male here. All right, and here's the house. All right, and here's the concern. Bottom of the deck is despair. Yeah, we see you, okay? Someone's path is clear to marriage or towards this hierophant. And we got, or this hierophant here is in their head about some sort of judgment being made or someone's going to jail. There's an official person here. This is this mature woman's, this could be your mother, past pathway to judgment. And here is, this could be a Passover relative for some of you. But this is the hierophant, all right? This is, um... It, to me, this is giving the hierophant. It's not. It's an official person, all right? But so this is what they're in their head about or worried about. <laughs> and here's the father figure. Here's the wealthy man. Someone's expecting someone to be um, in poverty or left out in the cold. But this change here. But yeah, they even swap money on this. And I'm getting 22, 27. So for somebody, um, you passed over loved ones are coming through about this here, how they left you out. The, the, this these people here they all work together they all did to bring some sort of change or changes here in regards to this all right we got the main female here this could be you all right and we got this is choices that they had with the lovers and getting so these are the choices they made now they're thinking about you or someone's thinking about you they want the courtship so someone's thinking they want to come in and Get in the sack with you and make you sick, or someone <laughs> you put it out of bits, all right? I don't know, that's what I get here. That's what they're thinking about how they met up to leave you in bad health, or whatever these meetings were to leave you in bad health. I also see 4 4, so you were protected, all right? And 9 9 since child, since you were a child, or this new beginning is, or they tried to make you sick since you were a child, or something like that, or there's courtship bad health yeah they they met up to see how they could be viewing some sort of bad health here or this old man all right and then we got a gift here 
So this person wanted to leave you a gift or they left you a gift when you were a child and they switched it. They switched it and they didn't give you none of it. Not even a fucking penny. All right. So I feel like you, you're you doing something when it comes to your job or something you do with your gifts or talents. It's bringing in some or working with. Okay, so someone worked with your someone you were married to. All right. Um, something's coming in the near future with this court here and the community. Uh, how they worked really hard to make someone else a privileged lady or against a privileged a lady. There's going to be a message coming in that's going to end this whole bullshit right here. Or you're giving this message that's bringing an end to this. Because the ancestors are here for these false people. That's what it is. Alright. Let's see what these intentions were. Here We already know they were plotting on you. So... Um, thank you to everybody for um, being here. Thank you for liking the video, uh, for sharing, for commenting, for your donations, for your love. I appreciate all you. It says, can we please get together soon and make plans? They want to support you. It says, I'm here to elevate you. There's some bad news. I see bad news. That spit out. It says, imposter. I'm not who you think I am. Yeah, because the last card out was the false person. I don't know. It says, sage advice. It says, I've been thinking about your situation and like to offer you a fresh perspective. All right, what else? We got um, uncertain. My intentions are not yet clear. I'm still trying to figure you out. We got health and desperate. It says, I'm going to be part of your health and wellness journey. And I'm in a bind and I don't have anyone else to reach out to. Okay, show me, um, give them some clues who this is about. I mean, King of Wands could be significant, all right? Ace of Cups, that just fell out. There's a King of Wands that wants to have a new beginning and a Ten of Cups with you. Is that what this is? Oh, something over here. Okay, they tried to put an end to an Earth Angel, okay? Whatever they invested in, they're now waiting on their ships to come in. It was a very insidious, I'm getting from this. It's being exposed about this home and all, and or your stability or what happened in a home. Judgment is here. The tower is also here. And for the, this very manipulative, these people have been. Or this is something you're manifesting it's, it's by sending this energy back here. Or whatever that was given and distributed and you know broken down and passed around and you got none of it um that whatever was in this cup here okay so i'm just i'm just saying all right so maybe a king of wands is significant specifically male or female this person may have scorpio in their chart or maybe even um gemini and virgo and capricorn okay if you look at this person and sagittarius or these are the people involved heavy leo heavy scorpio Okay, and Aries, Scorpio, Aries. All right, I hope I wasn't holding that up too high. All right, I don't know who this is for, but what can this, the collective expect coming in for them, or what do they need to know? Release it says, release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity, especially the storyline here. I feel like patience. It says, be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. And I feel like once this, and whether this is something you're dealing with with your twin flame or this is part of your journey and then you you get your other, your who God has for you. That's how I think that, you know, I do believe in have someone else having the same um, energy signal. I feel like you have to be vibrationally a match at that time. But I, um... I also believe, like, I have different views about it, and I also feel like um, it's all about us, right? We're not looking, when I was younger, I knew I was here, to, I was connecting with this person this lifetime, I knew it, okay? So when I was fresh, still young, and that veil isn't fully, you know, because um, I was, I had Christ consciousness, I was um, awake, like, I I was very tapped in at Starseed Child, right? Um but I just, I knew I was going to be connecting with my person this lifetime. I just knew it, you know. So um, th they did a lot to stop this or they were jealous of this or whatever this is. But um, once this shit blows out of here, I feel like um, that's, that's when God knows when it's safe. 
Archangel Michael knows when it's safe. Like, you know what I mean? The ascended masters are all around you, and it's just, um, that's what it is. It says stillness. Um, it says intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers you seek. It says it's time to reveal your radiant light with the world. And the bottom is reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. I get so many things in my mind, and, and to get that get it all out at the same time, it's like when I want to um, share something, so it's hard to explain. Um, it's just how my mind works. So I am going to leave this here. Um, I know I said I was going to pull an Archangel Michael card, and I ended up picking up that deck, but um, yeah. It's like my mind skips all over the place. Um, I don't like to put labels on things, but like a touch of ADHD, but also autism. I feel like I get I get a little bit of that, but I don't really like to, I just, yeah. It says focus upon divine and perfect health. And I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I even brought that up. I'm sure I did for a reason. It says your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Yeah. So you could be working on your health, whether it's, you know, your physical, your spiritual, your emotional, your mental. It's all it's all together, right? It's all considered health. We got your home is protected by angels. Detach from the situation. Twenty one twelve. I just saw on the clock. And lean on God and the angels for support. All right. I love you guys. Keep working on yourself. Um, keep keep doing what's best for you. All right. And following your um, intuition, your guidance. I love you guys. Thank you for being here.